Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com's training videos in Chief Architect. Today we're going to be talking about screen porches just like this one. So a viewer sent in this and was wondering how to build this directly. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and build uh, three walls. Ah, let's do four. One will be the house, let's say. And then knowing that, I'm going to... Should we flip this? Ah, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go ahead and build a quick screen porch. So I'm going to select the three walls that I want to turn into my screen porch. So I have those three selected. So what I do is select the first one, hold down shift on my keyboard, select the next one, and then the third one. That's telling the computer I want to manipulate these three walls. So I'm going to click open. I'm using Chief X10, which is nice. They have these new features uh, like wall caps, which will be nice. But I'm going to go to wall types. And I'm going to change the upper wall to to be glass. Let's see, they have one here called glass shower wall. That'll be good for me. I also want a pony wall, the lower wall, and I'm going to call that wall to be, um, let's do four inch lower, something like that. And then um, let's define it. Let's make it even smaller. So here I've gone into the wall definitions and I'm going to copy it because I don't want to mess with my interior four. I want to build one very similar to it, but my own size. So I'm going to hit copy. And this one is called interior four copy and we can call it interior two. I'm just going to erase it call it interior two. And I'm going to shrink this down to one. And thereby my overall total thickness would be about two inches thick and click OK. And then I'm going to zoom in here and look at the model, and I want to make sure that it's centering on the wall, which is good. And then I'm going to back up a little bit and say, you know, the lower portion, I only want it to be, say, 24 inches, or maybe even 18 inches. Let's try that. There we go. And then another thing is I want to go to this new wall cap tool, which is uh, pretty new for X10, and click Add New, and we're going to add a new wall cap. I'm going to shrink this window so it fits within my DLE here. And under the architectural molding, you'll see they've added sills and caps, which is nice. And let's take this one. I don't care. This one sounds good. And I'll notice that it's 2 by 10. I don't really need it by 10, so I'm going to say maybe by 3, uh, maybe even by 1 high. That seems reasonable. And then we want to set it back. So the horizontal, I'm going to go negative 1. And I'm going to go negative 1.5. Whoop. And we're going to open it back up because I don't know how it finished off. But it looked like I got it. 1.5 seems to be good. I can even do wall cap. Let's go a little bit further. 1.75. Yeah, that looks even better. And click OK. And now, um, actually, before I click OK, I'm going to open it back up again. Go to my materials. I still have all three selected. And my interior, lower side, is, is drywall, which is fine. Exterior is glass. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to type in here mesh. And Chief has some built-in meshes that I noticed. As, uh, here we go. Wire mesh. We use that bad boy right there. Click uh, lower side is good. Lower side service. That also should be mesh. Let's go in here. M-E-S-H. Is that how you spell mesh? This sounds about right to me. If you don't know how to spell that, you got some troubles. Okay, so there we go. And then the rest I could just paint really quickly. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to take my camera view, and I'm going to pop in here. And basically, I've made my screen porch, which is really nice. I'm just going to change some colors. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use my um, eyedropper, pick up white, and apply it to that, and apply it to the molding. Step back a little bit and kind of do the same. In fact, if we hit room, it should start doing it to the whole room. Sometimes it can't figure it out, other times it can. Let's try the outside now. Boom and boom. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so now, whether you want the roof on or not, it's totally up to you, but now you have a pretty feasible working space. So what you do in here is I go to my moldings tab, and I would probably delete that because I don't need that molding at all. But I'm going to add a new molding at the top. And so let's do that. I'm going to architectural moldings, and I'm not sure what size I want just yet, but I want it simple, just a square. So I'm going to come down here to, yeah, this guy's fine. It's a rectangle, but I can turn it into a square. And yeah, we'll call it three by three, and we'll call it crown molding. So if we call it crown molding, it'll go ahead and stick it to the top of our mold, at the top. A nice way to finish things off. Now we need some posts and beams and some doors. Well, it's really easy to put in doors. You just put in a door, double click it, and change the specifications. For instance, you probably don't need casing. You can leave it on if you want. Uh, but I'm going to remove it 
and then I'm going to go to my general tab and I'm going to say hey let's make this glass panel and let's come down here and make it three by three and one last thing in the casing is I don't think I need this threshold you can keep it if you want but whatever and I'm going to pick up the mesh and I'm going to go back to the sea can because I just want to spray the glass to be a mesh there we go sounds about right and then back in the floor plan mode I can come in here and I can use some framing tools and why don't we use um, post and we'll put a post right about here so yeah turn it on and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna use my multiple copy tool and I'm gonna multiple copy framing post 36 oh, that sounds good yeah 36 inches so it's about 36 inches apart I'm gonna come right on down that last one I'm going to have to probably manually move right in the place where I want it, which is right about there. Then here in the door, I'm going to say, well, let's fit the door in between the posts because it makes the most sense. And I forgot to color them white, didn't I? So let's see if I can do the whole plan. Um, room, plan, all the posts, all at once. Very good. That one in the corner. Good. And so there we go. Here's my sunroom, quick and fast. I hope quick and fast sort of quick and fast let's go back to the picture and so basically it's the same kind of concept we can put the door wherever we want we can put little transom windows if we want but if the walls the mesh then really all we need to do is just add those posts so this has been messing with sunrooms here at chieftutor.com thanks so much for watching hopefully you learned something new and i'll talk to you guys again later